We're back now with a new series, Going to Extremes, about the incredible ways people are fighting the record drought in the West. Tonight, one of this century's most ambitious projects at the largest reservoir in the nation, which looked like this in 2000. Take a look at what it looks like now. It was so low it could become useless to communities that rely on it. Instead of looking to the sky, engineers are looking miles beneath the surface to get water by essentially pulling the plug of the nation's biggest bathtub. NBC's Harry Smith tonight with a very unique view deep underground. If you want to know just how bad the drought is in the southwest, take a good look at Lake Mead. The water level on Lake Mead has dropped 130 feet since the late 1990s. What does that mean? That means the surface used to be up there at the top of what they call the bathtub ring. And if you're the city of Las Vegas, that poses a very big problem. 90% of the city's water comes from here. As the water drops, it will leave intake pipes literally sucking air. What to do? Start digging. We're in an elevator that goes 600 feet underground. It takes us to the end of a tunnel that's three miles long that goes all the way underneath Lake Mead. Down below, we hop on what's called a Loki, a kind of subway that hauls workers and tools. It's more than a little eerie down here, knowing one of the world's largest reservoirs is somewhere above us. Our guide is the tunnel's engineering project manager, Erica Moonen. As the lake continued to decline, it really became a concern that we were gonna lose capacity altogether, being able to pump the water from the lake. Seven years and $800 million later, the digging is done, a modern marvel. Right now, we're at the end of our three-mile tunnel. So if we look up, What's up there? Lake Mead. That's holding back the lake. Exactly. Wow. Come October, they plan to open that hole in the bottom of the sea, ensuring Southern Nevada's water needs for years to come. Waiting for the drought to end was a gamble Las Vegas wasn't gonna take. Harry Smith, NBC News, Lake Mead. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.